In the next few videos, we're going to look at some real-world applications of a normal distribution. In this question, we're told the heights of a large group of men are normally distributed with a mean of 178 centimetres and a standard deviation of 4 centimetres. A man is selected at random from this group. In part A, we need to find the probability that he is taller than 185 centimetres. So let's consider what we've got here. We can say now H follows a normal distribution mean 178 and a variance of 4 squared. So that's our first port of call. What we need to do now is convert this into the standard normal. Converting into the standard normal, we can let z be equal to h minus mu divided by sigma, or if you like, the value of h minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So let's look at the first question. What we're interested in then is the probability now that h is going to be greater than 185. So making the substitution, we can now say the probability that z is going to be greater. And what we'll do, we'll sub this value in. This is going to be the 185 minus the mean, which is going to be the 178, divided now by sigma, which is going to give us 4, is going to be the value we are looking for. So let's look at that. Probability that z is going to be greater than, what's that give me? 7 over 4. 7 over 4 is 1.75. So let's have a look at that on a graph here, and we're converting this to the standard normal. So what we're going to have, we'll put some value here, and this will be 1.75. So we want the probability that z is going to be greater than this value. So if we put up here 1.75, we're interested in this area right here. We know our standard normal table gives us the area trapped under the curve to the left of 1.75, and that's given as phi of 1.75. Therefore, if I want this area, all I need to do is 1 minus phi of 1.75. So all we're doing is reverting back to the skills that we've learned some time ago. So in a calculator, I generally use one so I don't make mistakes. We'll go and find that table value. So 1.75. Let's have a look at 1.75. Here we are. So what we've got here is 0.9599. So subtracting away 0.9599. And that's going to give me now 0 0.0401. So all we need to do is put that in. So that's going to be, the answer to the question is going to be 0 0.0401. Okay, a manufacturer of door frames wants to ensure that fewer than 0 0.005 men have to stoop to pass through the frame. On the basis of this group, find the minimum height of a door frame. So what we want to consider is the following. We want to consider the probability now of H being greater than H being equal to 0 0.005. So all I'm going to do is make a substitution. So initially I'm going to state that. I'm now going to make the substitution and I'm going to say the probability of Z being greater than H minus 178, that is the mean, divided by the standard deviation, which is going to be uh, 4, will be equal now to 0 0.005. Consider this value. What we're going to have then on our graph is something looking like this. This is one of our tail probabilities that we can get now from the percentage point table. So if you want, you can think of it as a percentage point. So all we're interested in then is this. This is the area trapped under the curve, and this represents 0 0.005. So let's go and look at that value in the table. So what we want then is the following. Let's go and grab that. Um, where are we? 0 0.005. So it's this one here, 2.5758. So let's write that up. So what we can now say is the following. 2.5758 will be equal now to h minus 178 divided by 4. Therefore, just solving the h, nice and straightforward, h will be equal to 4 lots of 2.5758 plus 178. So let's just push that through here and we will get that value. So we got 2.5758 and to that we're going to add the 178. So what do we end up with? 188.3. So we can say 188.3 dot 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 and so on. Therefore, to three significant figures, 
will have now 188 centimeters and make sure you're putting that into context don't just leave it as a a, a value without the, the units we're answering real life questions here so it's key to put those units on so there we go that's a nice brief example of how we can convert to the standard normal